Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And that is my Anita's White Metallic. That is a color shifting green gold from Folk Art. I don't know what that is, but it's got iridescent pearl fine in it. It's kind of pink and very pretty. That is the Purple Flash from Folk Art, which is color shifting. That is a Hobby Lobby Modern Masters Turquoise with iridescent pearl fine in it from Golden. That is a Decor Americana 24 karat gold with some orange hair orange color shift from folk art mixed into it. That is a color you cannot have anymore that people are making up and it's very deep teal and a little bit of iridescence. This is a burnt orange from Modern Masters. That is the residual of my 24 karat gold from Decor de Maranacana. Even though I don't have much, I'm still going to spare it. That is an Arteza Thalo Green that's been had some iridescent pearl fine added to it. That is a <laughs> Venetian blue from Modern Masters. That's a Decor de Americana with that's berry. It's a metallic. This is a color shifting folk art. I'm not sure what that is. It's very, very pink and then very, very orange. And this is a carbon black from Ha ah, Brain Cram from Golden. And it's a cell activator right now because it's got three quarters flow troll in it. And we're going to give that a shot to use that in a mixture, in mixtures of my shovels. Uh, right now I'm having a hard time trying to decide if I want to do straight across or zigzags. I'm going to try and leave my colors in groupings so that I can grab them as I decide that I'm inspired to do so. And I'm going to bring, whoa, without dumping any bottles over please. I'm going to try and get them a little bit out of my way so I can actually work. But I thought I would at least try that one time. This is my 12 inch by 24 inch by 2 inch canvas. Obviously the edges need to have another coating of black paint. Maybe I will just show you guys how I do that. I put a line down. That's the second coat. And I rub my fingers in it. It's nice if you have a wet rag handy. I'm going to take my residuals and put them on the other side. And figure that most everything else is better than that one was. Yes, I am correct. Everything else is much better. That must have been the last side that didn't get a second coat. So, quick like a bunny. I take that paint off between my fingers. Use my studio rag. I have a dry damp nasty towel as well as a damp rag for wiping off tools. So let me find my little scoop that fits my scoop into it and start with something fun like the berry from Decor Americana. And I'm going to take that edge catcher right out of there because I don't think I'm going to need it right now. So, trying to use colors I haven't used together before. I'd really like that to come out. <laughs> but fortunately, well, the other one is a cell activator mixture. But I don't think I really care right now. I just have to put this over there so I remember to clear it. And I'm going to use the Venetian Blue. And I have the lighter color Venetian Blue, which is the only difference is that it has metallic white from either Sargent's or... Da -da -dum -dum. <laughs> or Anita's. What else, what else, what else? I'm still craving red. I think I'm going to add a little magenta, some golden magenta for that mix, because I can. That's the name of my first book. So, now, what am I going to do now? I kind of want to, can I? Can you see what happens? If I go all the way to the edge, whoa, that's not what happened. That's not what I wanted to happen, shall we say, at all. I want to start over. Okay, so I had to try it once. Now you've seen how that works. But I have some great cells. And because I used the cell activator that's got a lot of flow troll in it, the, um, the mixture was way too runny. But it's not going to keep me from putting it back into my shovel with a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. And that just means that we're going to have to take a second to open this other bottle, which was, by the way, open earlier, for sure. 
put that back in it. You know what, I can use the rest of that no matter what. To go right down that edge. Even if I'm not super happy with how that turned out, it'll be okay. I have confidence. Because it's only the first one. Let's get that tip cleaned out. Yep, there was a plug in there. Gotta make sure it's out too, because sometimes they just aren't cooperative. The entire inside of the cone of these things get mixed. I liked my colors fine when I started, but I'm really craving orange in a big way. And I think I'm just gonna, just gonna give myself permission to go ahead and I mixed a new color today, which was a lighter color orange, very yellow. I want to see what that's like. And then I'm going to go back to that magenta. And a little white. Now, I'm not used to using the gallery wrap canvases. I'm also going to give that a little stir around. I'm kind of wishing I'd done the zigzag, but it wouldn't have worked with what I just started with anyway. So, so let's go. Lift that up. We're just going to leave our gaps. When we get to the edge, let it go right down over. Try not to leave your bottles in the way. Now, since paint will pull paint, I'm hoping that I can let the paint in the shovel pull what's there over it. So I'm sorry about changing my mind about the colors, but <laughs> oh well. Let's throw some turquoise in there. I will be trying to fill in in between with lines of paint, probably. Although you can't trust me. At least not where paint is concerned. I want some purple that I have. What does it feel like I want? Ah! that I have not cleaned the tip out on. Leave that over there in position too. And because I can, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of orange in that. kind of want to hit all of that with a um, torch. I think I'm going to go right here. Let that go right down that side. See if I can tip this down this side. I think I can. Such pretty paint to pour away. I don't like pouring paint away. At all. So, whenever possible, I will scrape it up and put it back in the shovel because I am just that tight. Or thrifty. Thrifty is a better word. Less insulting sounding. <laughs> okay, so I I sort of like this, but I sort of want to do something to it also. So since I already have this color in here, I think I'm just going to add a little something something. And then use my skewer. as a dragging tool to blend it in. And that's okay, I'm good with that. So I'm really liking the yellow with the turquoise. And the yellow, what I'm calling the yellow is supposed to be a lot more orange than that, but that's not really how it worked out. That color is a very strange color, not in its container. I want some more Maybe I want some real yellow. Maybe I want some red, too. Maybe I'll just sell for orange, because that might be smarter on my part. And then I want that purple I can't have. And I'm going to continue by just letting them mix a little bit. That's just my, my paint shield. My, you know, <laughs> someday... I'm going to get rid of that 
activator because it's not activating anything I'm in love with. So, it's tough to get it all to come out at the same time, for sure. And it's maybe not the easiest thing in the world to get it in a straight line either. But it is so worth it. So what can I dump that into? I want I want an edge catcher. I decided to bring it back. Let's see if I can find a small one that's functioning. It's small enough. I just buried a tool in there. So whatever paint goes down on that will look pretty anyway. So let's get this over here moving. If I spread a little paint with my finger then the chances are really good that it'll just keep flowing right over. And it doesn't hurt if I have a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula with a little paint on the edge to tap into place. This one's being a little tougher than the last one, but the colors are still kind of nice. It makes me want a whole lot of turquoise in that next space right there. Got some really nice cells. Especially in the first one where I made that mistake with putting cell activator in there just because I wanted to see what was going on. Sometimes I just have to do what I have to do. Alright, so I want this to be lighter colored. And I don't have any of that green in there. And I think this green is an emerald green from Folk Art. It's color shifting. I think they called it minty green when I was originally buying it. I have some island blue. This is turquoise color shift from Folk Art. This is the Baham this was the Bahama blue, now it is called Island Blue. And I have some other blue. I think this is gonna be all about the blues. All about the blues. I have a little bit of that Arteza Thalo. And once I stir that around, the This is taking longer because it's all about getting my edges to look like something somewhat cohesive. If I start short, and I can back push it. Yeah, that's what I wanted right in there. Constantly trying to figure out ways to make this work out for me. We'll see if this works or not. I'm thinking that I can let that paint flow down over the paint I just added. And that worked out pretty well. That's going to hide it. So I really kind of want something very bright for the next one. So I'm just going to keep heading in that, er that direction. My shovel is beautiful! So let's just go all out on the bright. I haven't put any of my neon pink in there. Do I want to risk putting some in there? Maybe just a little? Let's see if I like it. Just a little. Skewer will lead things just perfectly. I'm going to give myself some white. A bunch of white. And this time I'm going to think twice about whether I this time I'm going to let it roll right over the edge. Yep, not hating that. It's not perfect on the edges, but I'm pretty sure working as well as I was expecting it to. It's always good when I'm doing sections to have the paint spread out in the section before. So what's next? I'm being called back to blue and a lot of blue. I never did clear that tip and I'd like some of that Venetian blue right there is what I'm thinking. I cleared you earlier. Come on out, big lump of paint. I 
I should probably hit that again with a torch. The torch removes bubbles in the paint that would ordinarily turn into hardened little nodules, but they can also leave pock marks because they will tend to pop. So as you notice, I'm not cleaning out my shovel. I think, really, every time I pick up a bottle I, I haven't used in this particular session, it's plugged. Let's grab something different. I wonder how different that is. That's, that's just barely different enough. I think, I don't know what that was either. Let's just dribble some white in there and see how that looks when you... I want to clear that bottle. Oh, I did clear that bottle. Let's put some of that in there then. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm not just laughing at myself, right? <laughs> I know you're laughing with me. Okay, so here goes nothing. Woo. Let's go sh fall short. Not worried about my jagged edges. I am falling short so I can then tip all of that right over. I see that rather large lump of something. Come here, la lump. La 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 lump. And if I put that underneath my canvas, I won't see it and have the compulsion to pick it up. This is pretty! I think I need some gold, but I think it's going to go in between the stripes. Wow, I didn't really want this to be two parts. <laughs> but I'm not sure how fast I can do what I need to do to finish either. All right, we'll do the best we can and see what happens. So I think it's time to take some of this phthalo blue, which is really hard because I want, keep wanting to call it phthalo. Let's just get simple. I think I'm going to throw a little bit of black enamel. There it is. And it's open! Yes! Little tiny stir. If I do this end, maybe I can get it to the other end really fast. I like those residuals. I got some wicked bubbles. So let's just tip that right now. Yep, and it camouflages perfectly. Goes right over the end. That's okay. I think, um, what do I think? I don't know what I think. I think I want to see what this berry looks like. And I like that berry. I think I like it so much I'm going to put some on the other end, along with a whole bunch of my purple flash from Folk Art. But in the meantime, I'm going to mix that purple flash from Folk Art right there. And what? And maybe some more of that phthalo green right next to the berry so I can then pull it down further. I want to waggle that red stripe, that orange stripe I really want to tell you. So I've got one minute left to tell you guys. Check the link tree under the video. Look for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Also, if you're there, you might want to check out uh, <laughs> my Amazon link. If you decide you'd like to contribute to help keep the studio rolling, please, by all means, feel free. I would appreciate it. And you'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing for paintings. And you can see those paintings in the exhibition video on the end screen of any video. And I'm trying to be cautious and see if I can get this done in the next 25 seconds. At the same time, picking good colors. And I think I'm not unhappy. I might even dribble across. With some extra colors. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you soon.